As I mentioned in the introduction, we're working off of a wireframe, and I have that right here. It's just a little thumbnail. It's not even very big that I can blow up and inspect all the nuances, which I think maybe is a nice thing because I don't want to get bogged down in the details. I just really want to. I just really want to explore the bootstrap grid. Now you may have tuned in on last Friday, and if you're watching this video a long time from now, check out this video uh, that you see a thumbnail for over there somewhere. And in that video, I discuss Jade. <laughs> Do you even Jade, bro? <laughs> I thought that was, that made me laugh. Anyway, um, I discuss Jade. Jade is a templating language that we're using to uh, build our markup now. I'm gonna, I found out about it yesterday. I was so excited, or the night before. I was so excited about it that I made a video on, on a Friday, which is not common for me. Usually I'm posting on Mondays and Mondays nearly only. But uh, this was so exciting, I couldn't, I just made this quick 20 minute uh, explanation of what I found and what I plan to use it for. So I'm gonna use Jade in this video right here, and we're gonna see it a little bit deeper um, because I'm gonna be actually putting it through the ringer as we make this layout instead of just explaining a few basic principles of it. So that's exciting too. And how I'm gonna use Jade is I'm using CodeKit. CodeKit is a application for the Mac. There's also Prepros, which will do this as well, and Prepros is for the Mac and for Windows. I put this project here in CodeKit. There's only two files. There's an index.jade, and then CodeKit will, will crunch that um, index.jade and output a index.html. So let me show you exactly what I mean. See where it says hello here in this container, and it says hello here in this div. I'm gonna change that to what's up? And then when I save it, it'll input that content into that div right there. And we've just got new content now. And we have a simpler way to do that here on the left and the output is on the right. So instead of just showing you the inputs and outputs, what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna clear this body uh, tags here and I'm gonna start fresh and I'm gonna build a completely new layout. I'm gonna build this thumbnail into a full layout using the bootstrap grid and adding to it a little bit with my own CSS where needed, but hopefully um, as as minimally as possible because I just want to explore Bootstrap for you guys and with you guys. I have already imported the this link here, which is a style sheet to Bootstrap, and I did that in the video that was that came out on Friday. And now I'm just I'm just ready to go. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little excited. Let me save here. Now we're gonna have an empty body on the right. Now when you're using CodeKit, CodeKit can also not only render your files anew, but it can, uh, it can do a live reloading kind of session. It's really cool. So I'm gonna press this preview button here on CodeKit, and it's gonna open up a new window, and no notice the name is my iMac uh, local host kind of thing. It's basically creating a server similar to what you would see at the local host, and 5757. So this is on like an auto refresh as soon as I uh, type in my codes. So 